I suppose this is the last time I'll play the piano like this in here. I wonder if there'll be a piano I can play in Argonia. Thank you for coming. Is it already time to leave? I asked the minister to have you call on me so that we could take one last walk through the castle, alone together, just like old times. I know it's not quite time yet, but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly, to thank you for everything you've done. The times I've spent here in Tredane Castle, with you, will be memories I shall treasure for always. I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfill my royal duty. And you have to... Please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane, just as you always have. <sighs> so then, shall we go? It won't do to keep people waiting too long. So this is Savella Cathedral. What a perfect place for a grand royal wedding. Excellent work, young man. You did an admirable job of escorting us. Your duty here has now been fulfilled. You shall stay the night at the inn and return to Tredane tomorrow. But I thought they'd all be attending the wedding. I'm sorry, princess. But I'm afraid that won't be possible. Well, well, pleased to make your acquaintance indeed. I am Prince Charmley of Argonia. Goodness, ooh, ooh, you must be Princess Medea. Ooh, charmed, I'm sure. One look at you is enough to make me forget all the other beautiful girls I've ever met. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world to have you as my wife. Blimey. What's with all the romance? I didn't know you had it in you, Charmless. It's Charmley. 
Oh, aren't you those servants from the initiation? Hm. No doubt you're here because you heard the news of my wedding. Well, I'm afraid this is as far as you can come. I can't possibly have commoners like you at such a grand royal affair. It's not as if you're aristocracy or wealthy or, well, anything. <laughs> That brat is unbelievable. Can't let us in on account of our being too common indeed. The preening little snob. It's been a while since the initiation, but he is still just as obnoxious as ever. And yet tomorrow, he's going to be marrying the princess. Can you believe it? Are you really going to let this happen? If you ask me... It's your duty as Chief of the Palace Guard to protect the Princess's happiness. Rise and shine, Gav. The princess will be getting itched in a bit. We've come all this way. We should at least try and get a glimpse of her all dolled up. I'll go on ahead then, eh? I'll be waiting in front of that big church. <laughs>